So now I want to talk about merge conflicts. A merge is when you take two branches. Oh, I've got one branch right now, the master branch. If I were to create a second branch, and let's say I assign that other branch to somebody else, they're working on some code. In the meantime, I create a third branch. So let's say the branches are master, branch A, and branch B. Somebody's working on branch A, somebody else is working on branch B. They both end up working on the same bit of code. One of them's going to merge the branch back into the master branch first. And then the second person, when they merge back, if they've been editing the same lines of code in the same files, there's going to be a conflict. GitHub is going to warn us and say, you know what? You've made a change, you've made a change. The two changes conflict with one another. Which ones do you want to keep? So that's when you have to actually manually go in and edit the changes. All right, so I've got a JavaScript file. I've got the master branch. I'm going to create a new branch. Let's say, um, well, I'll show you here the, the code that we're going to work with. Uh, inside main.js, I've got four lines of code that I've added. One for a variable diameter, variable pi, variable circumference. Circumference is pi times diameter. And then I'm writing out a message to the user in the console. We're going to be working just with these four lines of code. Actually, we'll just be working with one of the lines of code just to show you how the merge conflict stuff works. Uh, inside of my GitHub desktop, I am synced. This is always good to hit this sync button frequently to make sure that you've got the latest version. Before you do anything, sync to make sure that you've got the latest version of whatever branches. So I only have one master branch right now. I go back up to the website. Let's create that other branch create one called, uh, let's say, keyline pi. There we are. We've created a keyline pi branch. So now we've got two copies of that main.js file. Come back down in here and don't have it yet. So hit sync. There we are. Now we've got the keyline pi branch. So let's select that. This is the one that we're working on now. By doing this, my code editor knows that it's working with that branch. So let's say that I know that this should be a const and I want to be a little bit more accurate. So I've made that change. I come back into GitHub Desktop, one uncommitted change, there it is. All right, uh, so made pi const made pi 3.1415. Okay, those are the changes. I commit and sync. So the sync is happening here. We're updating this. There's the commit that we just made. Now this is where the head is. That's in the key line pi branch. Now, back over in master. I've got no uncommitted changes right now. Come back into here. This is back to the way it was because I'm now working with the master branch. So let's say that somebody, that other branch, branch B, was created, somebody made some changes, and then they committed those changes back into master. Now master, the master branch, is going to be this. Okay, so we've capitalized this, we've made this even more accurate. We added the extra nine on here, actually here, just to make it really obvious that we've made the change. Let's make it longer. Okay. So I've saved that. I come back into GitHub Desktop. I'm on the master branch. There's the one uncommitted change. Um, const pi two, four, six, eight decimal places. Commit and sync. So it's syncing, updating the master branch. And now we have the keyline pi branch with this change and then the master branch was changed and you notice there's a dot here that's to the right of this one so this is where we are but the master branch has been changed if we now try to go back and commit this if we try to merge this we're going to run into a conflict there is a conflict so we can update from master well we don't really want to do that if I look at the master branch, I'm going to compare it to the keyline pi branch. And there we are. Okay, so I will master and I want to update it from keyline pi. Create a keyline pi pull request like this. 
So we're showing that the master is going to be merged back into here like that. If we do this, we're on keyline pi. We're going to do that to update keyline pi. So that's what a pull request is to update one branch with another. It doesn't really matter at this point which way I'm merging it. It's the fact is that I'm trying to update one branch with code from another. So, okay, I'll send the pull request. Okay, well done. There it is. I can click on the link and view it. I can go back to the um, website, rather, GitHub website. Let's refresh this. Okay, so keyline pi, one commit ahead, one commit behind master. So there's been one commit that's been made to this branch, but the branch is one commit behind master. Let's take a look at the pull requests, this other tab up here. If we come in here, here is the change. So click on that. Eight decimal places, that was the last one. All checks have passed. Conflicting files. Hmm, okay, this branch has conflicts that must be resolved. That is the problem right there. That is our merge conflict. So we'll try to resolve the conflicts. This is what we're going to see. Whenever you have changes in the branches and you're trying to merge them, this is how GitHub will display it to you. It changes your file and shows you, okay, on the master branch, or sometimes this will say head, and then down here will be the name of the other branch. This is one version of the line. This is the other version of the line. So what do we want to keep? Really, all we have to do is we will come in and decide which of these lines I want to keep. Well, I'm not going to need the master. I'm not going to need these things. This is all that I want to this is all that I want to keep right here. So, I'm going to now mark this as resolved. Resolved all conflicts. I have changed what's in this file here and I'm going to commit the merge. So this is the latest commit that I'm doing. Great. Oh, sorry, we've just fixed that problem. Confirm the merge. So there we are. Merge two commits. Back in here, take a look at our file again. const pi, that's in master, take a look at keyline pi, and there we are. Now we have the same. So back here in our uh, GitHub desktop, I've got the master branch, I've got the keyline pi branch. I want to uh, get rid of this branch. I want to really merge this back in. So we fixed the conflict without really merging the branch entirely here. We've synced it, but there are still two branches. So let's bring this back in so we're done with it. All right, I've got keyline pi selected. I'm going to do a pull request from keyline pi to master. Send the pull request. Great. Come back up to the website. Pull requests. There it is. Merge pull request. No conflicts. Confirm the merge. The two branches are merged. And now I will delete the keyline pi branch. And there we are. So I'm back here. Master branch is the only one I've got. And it has the code that I was looking for. So there's several ways of doing these uh, merges. You can do the pull requests through here. You can do the pull requests through the GitHub desktop. Um, GitHub desktop is nice because it shows you right here. It shows you how the merges are taking place. It's a visual reference when the commits take place, when the merges take place. Um, you can sync this. There we are. Now keyline pi. It's asking us to publish keyline pi here. I just did a sync. I've got keyline pi as a branch, but on the server I've deleted that branch. Publish is going to want to create that branch up on the server. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to say delete the keyline pi branch, get rid of it on my computer as well. So now I'm in master, there's no uncommitted changes, it's the only branch, 
everything's up to date back on the website everything's up to date here we've got the changes that we wanted made that's the version of the code that we want so this pull request tab is going to tell you if there's any open pull requests there'll be a little number displayed if there's one that you haven't looked at yet you can play around with that you can create a new pull request from here if you've got multiple branches, there'll be a button in here that you can use to create a pull request, or there's one right here to create a pull request. We don't really have any branches, so not much to do. Um, but yeah, that's handling merge conflicts. Um, you can fix them locally. You can fix them on the server. I like using GitHub as my place to fix it just because it's got um, that one interface where I know I've got the latest version submitted from everybody and it gives me that code editor and it says which branch is which. It's got name master instead of saying head, which can be a little bit confusing for some people. Head is where the latest version of the code is. Head is where the latest edit's being made. It's the branch that you're looking at and the latest edit in that branch. So I like the fact that on GitHub, it tells you the name. It says master, this is the branch. Uh, very minor difference, just a label, but that's the way that I like to work. So I hope that helps you out. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the bottom. And as always, thanks for watching.